Now let's go back to the news that tens of thousands of holidaymakers have been affected by the collapse of the budget travel firm Kiss Flights. We're joined by Wendy Richmond, a Kiss passenger who has already had a run of bad luck this year. She had her holiday plans disrupted earlier in the year by the volcanic ash cloud and then more recently the failure of the holiday company Gold Trail. And we're also joined by Alistair Rowland, who's Director of Distribution for Cooperative Travel, a company which refused to carry Kiss Flights. Thank you both very much for joining us. Um, to you first of all, Wendy, Wendy, you have had some uh, incredibly bad luck this year. Just tell us w what's happened with you and your travel plans. Uh, not a lot, really. Mm. We've, uh, we started off uh, in April. We were due to go on a cruise um, for our 40th wedding anniversary, and we ended up uh, at, uh, getting a flight from e uh, Birmingham to Crete. Uh, we ended up going through to departure, going through all the rigmarole and everything and then uh, being turned away at the last minute because of the ash cloud so we sat in Birmingham airport for two days uh, and then decided to come home and give it up as a bad job then we uh, when we got back home we decided to try and book a, a different holiday because obviously the, as a wedding anniversary you know you can't bring that back so we booked to take the family to Ishmaelir in Turkey and uh, we booked with Gold Trail, uh, and then within a couple of weeks they uh, went bust, and uh, we've lost everything there. So we booked the next day uh, with a travel agent to try and you know get things sorted out, and we booked with Kisk. And uh, last night we was watching the BBC News, and uh, they've gone bust as well. It's terrible, terrible, Wendy. Well, let's uh, bring in um, Alistair Rowland, because, Alistair, if Wendy had come to you for flights, you wouldn't have given her flights with KISS. Why was that? No, well, I think as Cooperative Travel is the biggest uh, travel agency group in the UK, we take care of consumers clearly very seriously, and, and the KISS brand came out of the ashes of the previous failure of XL in 2008, and... Frankly, we just didn't believe in the business model. It was too cheap, it was not sustainable, and we chose not to sell it, albeit many of our competitors did. But they did meet all the legal requirements, we're told, by the Civil Aviation Authority to be granted an ABTA license. So while you think the business model isn't one that's going to, to succeed, all that matters is that the legal requirements are met for a company to be able to set up and start selling. I think that's true. I, th I think the difficulty these days is it's very easy to book travel, particularly online, and you've got to be very careful about how you insure yourself, because even if, in this case, the flight can be reclaimed in terms of its cost from the CAA, it takes a long time, it's quite a cumbersome process, and clearly customers want to get away on holiday, and, and often they lose the money that they spend on their accommodation and their transfers in the process. What's been the situation for you, Wendy, with insurance and actually getting any compensation for the losses that y you incurred as a result of what's been happening this year? Well, at the moment, we've only just put the uh, forms in for Gold Trail, um, which we've lost all the car parking facilities, the, as I say, the transfers, as you say, uh, and everything else to go with it. Um, we've now got to wait for the forms coming for uh, KISS and then fill them in as well. Um, who knows when we'll get the money back? It could be, you know, 6, 12, whatever, 18 months, I don't know. Do you know, though, under the terms of your insurance, whether you should actually end up getting everything back, or do you think you will be out yeah. of pocket? Yeah, we've, the uh, travel agent we bought with, it is Abtol, and, uh, you know, Abtol registered, so we, we have been told we will receive our money back, but that doesn't, uh, you know, compensate you for two you know, two holidays that you've lost at nearly £4,000 and two grandchildren that are wanting to go on holiday and can't go. What, what's the best advice you'd give to people travelling, Alistair? Because obviously when you're booking a flight or you're booking a holiday, you want to get the best deal that you can. You look online and there are some really tempting deals out there. And if a company is backed by that ABTA protection, what's to stop you going for it? I mean, what would you say to people? I think what you've got to do is be very careful, and clearly Wendy 
has in terms of her latest booking at least but you need to make sure that every element is covered and therefore actually the retailer becomes the equivalent of the tour operator and they have to deal with you in terms of offering the full refund themselves rather than a counterclaim with the uh, CAA in this case or get you away on holiday so make sure you book with an ABTA agent ourselves or others and make sure you've got that full ABTA protection at all bond and full insurance of every element that you're booking particularly if you're booking flights separate to your accommodation to get the best price Although, as Wendy has eloquently said, that uh, even if you're covered, it doesn't make up for the, the, the missed holidays. You've really had your fingers burned this year, Wendy. W what lessons have you learned? What, what will you do differently next time? Uh, well, I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, we, th we thought, you know, if we st stick with a reputable firm, mm. but are they going to do the same? You know, where do, we, where do we stand? You just cannot afford to lose any more money. We've lost three holidays now. Uh, you know, are we going to lose a fourth or a fifth? We just don't know what to do. Are you, are you looking at booking something else at the moment? Oh, no, no. We've, we've got no... There's no money left. You know, everything's gone now. We've lost the money. You know, we can't rebook for the grandchildren. So all this money is gone. Well, we're very sorry for everything you've been through. Wendy, thank you very much for talking to us. That's Wendy Richmond and uh, also Alistair Rowland, Director of Distribution for Cooperative Travel. Thank you both.